joining me this morning for this pop-up live trading session. Let's jump right in and discuss what's going on with the markets. It looks like we have a huge update again on top of a huge update or a decent size update on Monday, huge up update on Tuesday, huge day up update yesterday. And then now this is the fourth update. And it seems like that the market is just, in my opinion, has lost its mind on how fast we are going up. I don't, I don't understand why it's this, this, this is the case. We talked about yesterday. Okay, well, we're going to have gridlock, and you know, taxes are not going to change. You know, Democrats are not going to be able to, um, you know, do some stuff that is probably a little um, less than uh, um, center, um, you know, center the country. But that is, it, it, that to me is, is, um, is still doesn't warrant how fast we are going up um, at this point with, um, you know, certain countries shutting down, you know, the global economy still at a, um, you know, so much uncertainty out there. And we're back to um, very close to all time highs again, even the Russell was shooting up. It was, it was actually down this morning, right when the market opened, it's, it's up, right? It's, it's almost leading the way now, percentage wise. It's just, it just seems like we're, we're buying just out of our minds. It's just another ridiculous type of situation to me. Uh, very, very alarming because we, if we can go up this fast, we can go down a lot faster. Um, and it's, and it's just, it's just, um, interesting to me. Everything is being bought now. Gold yesterday was a little flat. Um, now it's up big. Silver is up big. Um, bonds are finally, finally, um, showing some weakness. It was up earlier a little bit more. This 30 year bonds is now flat, as you can see. And um, even oil is taking a is getting a bid, right? So, you know, oil dropped quite a bit. Now it's back. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if that hits 40. Um, and, you know, you claim that, OK, if we're going to have um, a little less activity, then oil is going to suffer. We're going to have more storage growing, but that's not the case. Um, everyone's just buying in a ridiculous way now. So what you have to do in this type of situation, you have to be vigilant about your deltas and just make sure your deltas are in line, uh, especially your individual deltas. So let's let's jump into a few things. Um, but one other thing I wanted to say is that um, I, I heard so someone this morning say that the market was going to go up regardless of who won. Um, and one of the factors was that they just say that the Democrats even won the Senate. They said they won the White House, the Senate and the the House. Well, the market for the short term was going to go up because they believe it was going to be a lot of it, it, potentially a lot of stimulus could have uh, occurred. Right. Um, um, so maybe that's a, a catalyst for the market to go up. Obviously, if uh, if the Republicans would have swept the whole thing, you know, that's a reason to go up, you know, because everything is going to stay the same and maybe some more tax cuts are going to come or something such as that. Um, now that, you know, we have a divided um, uh, Congress, we have, you know, the Senate is going to be Republican, House going to be uh, Democrat, White House potentially going to be Democrat. Well, nothing's going to get done for the most part and things are going to stay status quo. So um, that's, I guess, that's a reason for the market to go up and just go up ridiculously. I mean, the Nasdaq was up 5% yesterday. It's up another 3%. That just makes no sense, in, in my opinion, why we are up that much. Um, you can't tell me that people are buying. Um, they, they have to get, they got to, um, you know, transition to at home again, right? It, maybe that was an amazing argument in the beginning in March and all this happened. And we had this run up after March. You know, because we had so many people moving to home and they had to buy all these different supplies and all this different technology and all this kind of stuff. I mean, that's already in place now. How in the world are we going up so fast again at this point? Um, maybe you guys got an opinion. If you do, um, um, please feel free to um, unmute your mic and, um, and give your take. Um, but with that said, while we're going over, I'm going to jump over this to these accounts and we're going to look at a few things because this count is pretty negative. And... Uh, we're going to check and see. We've got 15 days to go on this side. We're going to look at, um, we were trying to get, we were trying to adjust the position already that's at the 45 here, um, but they they would not get that filled um, or it hasn't filled. So let's go into the working here and you can see that it's probably going to be a lot worse um, situation as I remove this Twitter here. Um, all right. So that's 
let's let's try to get that field this debit of moving we're going to move this up to unlock and we'll see if we can get filled on that and that's going to be about 135 as you can see it's jumping around um because it's going up we're going to put it at 250 here and be about 134 so that got filled i moved it from a 45 to a 36 um, delta and i want to pay for that on the uh, put side here so you can see on the put side that i'm not getting very much but i'm going to have to roll this up anyway um, to be able to do this stuff in concert so i can do this in two trades anyway so we're going to go um, let me just check before we do that on this uh, let's hit clear on this new position it's going to be the eight delta and we're going to have to move it up again so that's that's a uh, Looks like it's a 40 point wide spread there. So if we had to move it up again, I just say here from that 40, um, we would have to buy this 40 here um, and then sell another 40 higher, which would be the 80. All right, so that's gonna look something like that. Um, and let's see, that would take me to the 13 Delta. Let's see if I had to buy this one and sell that one, how much premium I would get for that. I'm just checking this out. It's only gonna be about $70. Um, so if I've got, that's gonna be close. We'll look to add some more here in a second, but all right, so let's replace this order, unlock it and see if they'll fill us at this price. And they're not giving it to us here. Um, we're probably gonna have to go down. Let's see if we go down to 85, see if we can get lucky. All right, so we got lucky that's $68. Um, so now what we're gonna do is do what exactly what I was just showing is that we're gonna roll this up. And the only reason I couldn't do this, we've talked about this in the, in the past about how you can adjust in concert on um, on options on futures on the Tastyworks platform only. And you have to do a certain way. The width of the spreads have to be the same. I'm not gonna discuss that for time purposes too much here now, but what we're gonna do is do it again. And we're gonna move this up um, again, and we're gonna move it. It's gonna be two contracts, and we're gonna get a little more aggressive here, get some more premium back, and we're gonna send that. Uh, all right, so they got me at 115. So we got we got that field, and we're gonna go and look and see how much premium we are down on the ES here for today. We're gonna type this into the symbol here, um, so you can see that the adjustments we made on the ES has been profitable, as you can tell here. This is how much we receive. This is how much the fees and this is the commission. So we receive more credit than fees to make those adjustments on that ES at this point with. Um, 30 with 15 days to go so now if we look at the new position um, on the put side we're at the 14 delta on the call side now we are at the 36 delta we're going to let that play out a little longer uh, we might have to adjust that again today based on you know if we're up with you know another four percent today or something um, let's look at the all-time high with the ES, which is approaching that, I believe, very close, very soon. So that's a 3587 is the all-time high. And you can see how this week has been, right? This week has been amazing, right, so far. And it's the, this the all-time high. So it's not too far from that. And the position that we're looking at right now is just un, under that all-time high. So we're probably going to have to make in another adjustment um, to free up some space. But we'll look at some other things at this point. We made an adjustment on the NASDAQ this morning. And if we look at this NASDAQ now with the 15 days ago, all this stuff is 15 days ago for the most part. We're at the 42 now on the NASDAQ and looking at the, uh, on the put side, we're at the 16. So let me see, let me hit the, do we have anything on the bottom here? um we do have something there so if we were able to take this off here and then move this one all the way up to where we're at at this 16 you can see that that would give us about 130 dollars so that would give us a little bit of room to adjust on the um on the put side i mean on the call side so what we're going to do is do that we're going to buy this one back we can only do it in two steps so we're going to buy this one back and hopefully we can get filled at a decent price We'll see here. 
Uh, we're going to buy this back, send that, and then we're going to adjust this call side. If I can get this to move, come on, you stupid thing. Uh, I hate these, uh, these, what do you call it? Uh, these invisible uh, two bars, especially when I can't get it to move. There we go. All right. So, um, all right. Now, if we go over here, we're going to move this again. Let's just see how much this is, how much we'll be able to move this. That is a 40 point wide spread. Um, so, no, that's a 60 point wide spread, excuse me. So, we'll do, we're going to do it at 60 points again. So, in this case, that's going to be right here. And then on the call side, it's going to be, I mean, uh, on the buy side, it's going to be here. So, we're moving this in concert. You can see that we can do that. And it's going to cost us, it's not going to cost us that much, about one, 105. Let's see if we can get it for a little cheaper. Let's, let's try 135 here. So, we're going to talk about $95. Let's see if we get filled and no love on either side to this point. So we're going to go and get this right back here. Sell this at the, that's the put side. You're not giving it to us. This is going to be the call side. We're going to put it in at 45. Let's see if we can get filled. Um, no love. And we're just trying to get filled here um, on both of these sides. This is 75. Come on. And this is going, that's, man, that jumped up quite a bit on the NASDAQ. That's got to be wrong, hopefully. Let's put this at 50. That was a big jump. Um, so we're removing, we're moving from a, we're trying to move from a 30, a 41 delta to a 34 delta. And they, you can see that's jumping around quite a bit. That's a ridiculous. Let's go to 75 here. Maybe we'll get filled. Uh, it's at 103. Come on. All right. So no love there to move that. And let's try a little higher. 85. That's going to be 105. No love to move that. And they're going to make me go even higher just to get out of this. Let's try five. We should get filled. 108, 109. All right. So we got filled there, and we moved that from a 30, from a 41 to a 34. Let's get filled on this put side really quickly here um, to get the monies back. All right. So we move this at 80. Come on. Come on. Move this to 80. Five. You can see that it, they're. they're Market makers are not feeling at this point, and I wouldn't, I would not like to force this, but um, I have to not only for because uh, I need to get the adjustment done, but for demonstration purposes. Man, that's brutal. Come on, sit for a second. Nope. All right, so let's try 95 here. This is what I'm buying back. All right, so that's that's frustrating. So let's just go here and see if we can get this filled here. Um, so I'm going to take that. I'm going to get this 165. I'm going to do it at. I'm going to do it at uh, um, at that price one at the credit of 88.25. Let's see if we can get filled. I'm not going to. Let them rob me on this one here for a second because it's so far away. Um, let me see if I drop this back down. Will it go back down to that 175? Let's just see if that changes the mid. All right, so that mid is still 195. I mean 190. All right, so we're going to drop this a little bit and we should get filled right away. All right, so perfect. We had to give up a little bit to get filled. Um, we're going to let that other one bake for a second. It's still, it's so far away. We're going to let it bake, um, see if we can get filled at a better price than what they're offering us at that point. So if we go to this history here, once again, um, please interrupt me if you have any questions. Go into this history here, and we're going to just look at this NASDAQ. This is what we've done all day with the NASDAQ. As you can see, we were collected $90 and we spent about $30.44. So we've done that for an adjustment, I mean, for a credit. 
Um, even if we have to buy back that one, we should still be fine if we buy back um, that other one um, that's in the working right now, but I'm not going to force it. All right, so let's jump into this RTY here. We have some stuff that is 15, 15 days ago on this call side here. And we're going to look at this one as well. So it's all similar to the type of adjustments that we've been doing on the other stuff. So that's on a that's a four delta on the put side there. Um, so if we move if we move this one here, we're doing a big adjustment. It's a 20 point wide spread. Move this there. And move this here. That's going to cost 152 dollars. As you can see right there to move it that much right from a 32 to a 23 um let's see that's 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 175 dollars it's quite a bit to move that um let's see if we went here and we did we moved it from a 35 to a that's gonna be 45 dollars let's see if we went from here to something smaller so let's say we moved from you know a a 205 um, from the from a 29 to a 30, that's 20, from a 39 to a 29 delta, as you can see here, uh, 20 points wide, that's gonna be $115, uh, you know, fees and commissions. So I'm not gonna be able to do this in concert. If you see, if I send this, it's gonna reject the trade. You see, I was rejected. This is just one, again, once again, an issue with the Tastyworks platform on options and features. You do not have this problem on options on stock. So um, let me see if I buy this back and I go all the way to the 15 delta here. And I do a 20 point wide here and I do two contracts. How much I get? I'm getting $88 there. So I would need a little bit more than that, right? So I would go to this, this 19 Delta 20 point wide. That's going to give me 125, uh, 127 before fees and commissions. I go to this 20 Delta uh, 20 point wide. It's going to be 132. So you can give me something very close to what I need by going to the 20 Delta um, based on how this has been moving. That's still outside of the expected move. I go to the 21, um, that's going to give me a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is base my move on how much I can potentially get. So I'm going to move this from, I'm going to move this from a 39 to probably the 17 Delta, uh, probably the 1700. Um, give it a little bit more room uh, before I have to make the adjustment. So that's going to cost here. Let's see if we can get filled. They're going to force me to do this on a bad way. Um, so not getting it, not got filled there. That's this, and then you can see that it moved up a little bit since I did that. So let's try, let's try the 70 here. See if we can get filled. Um, no love. And I'm going to, uh, and then when I try to get in, this is the sucky part why you can't get, you can't get out in concert. Cause they're going to, when I try to get in on the other side, it's going to, it's going to rob me. So we hit replace here and 90 let's go let's go there all right so they gave me that there and let's go to 20 points wide here it's going to go to the 30 delta to see if we can get filled at this 60. um it's not going to happen but let's see if we can get filled um at the six dollar amount amount all right so what we're going to do is take this off everyone and let's see if we can get filled we're going to put it at 55 see if we can get filled at the mid and there's no cigar there um so what we're gonna do here is take this down to 590 see if we can get filled all right so we got filled on the uh, call side there and now let's take off this put side see if we can get filled at if we take it to 60. all right so we got filled oh, crap i did that i took it uh, only took one off i meant to take two off um, all right, so let's do a similar order and do one again and see if they're filming at the 60. All right, so they did. All right, so now what we're going to do is go to this history here and we're going to check and see how much we need on the put side of this, um, of the RTY, right? So this is what I'm doing. I'm trying to see how much I need. So we're going to need, um, that's about, a, that's a, let's just say 12, we're going to need about $172 to break even on this adjustment. So what we're going to do is go get that monies. Um, and we had two contracts. So let's be, a, we're going to be a little more aggressive. So we need 172. That's, we need two contracts. That's going to give us a hundred and, um, that's going to give us a hundred and 
or 320 as you can see here. So we're going to move this down a little bit because we don't need we don't need that much we don't need that much. Um, all right, so let's see if we go to the 25. Let's get to 30. Let's actually get up. It'd be a little more aggressive than what we normally is. So we're going to take it to the, the the 15. Sell that one. See if we can get paid. Get a little bit more credit in. Um, so we're selling that. And let's see if we can get we can get filled. Let's drop this down. Come on. Let's get filled at 211. There we go. Awesome. So um, now let's go to this history here. And let's look at that. So now you can see that we've actually, based on today's uh, movement, we've actually made some, we have did this for a credit as well. So everything has been done for a credit. As you can see, if I move, if I print this out just for today, you can see that all of this moves today has been done for a credit. All right. So now if we jump back over to this, this, uh, this situation here, we got the 43 days to go. That's the put side. That's the 1400. Let's look at that put and see if we can raise that up a little. Um, so there's 43 days ago, it's um, at a 10 delta. That is not too bad. We can let that sit for a second. Um, nothing on the call side, so that's good on that one. And then if we go to this IWM, this is a hedge that we're just going to let it play out a little bit more. It's no reason to, uh, to take it off. Um, this is. What is this right here? This was a this is a buy hedge at the buy at the 50 delta, and this was a sell uh, in the money hedge. So you're gonna let that sit for a second. You can see that this uh, this blockchain position is doing okay. It's jumped up. We sold it at the four. Our call space is 290, so we're actually doing well on that short put spread. And Twitter, you can see here is that we have a position we this is one i want to point out to everyone that's pretty interesting so what i did the other day is we we just took off a position and um on the call side we were at the 46 or something like that a spread as well we took that off and then now we just have this on you can see that we have this we have a short call on here and we have a short put on here so the put was deep in the money it's not in the money anymore and we, we we can't lose on both sides right so what we're what we try to do is just sell the call side bring it in so we couldn't lose thought it would stay below we thought we would stay maybe uh, in this area so we wanted to collect a little more premium but obviously it's shot up just like everything else so if it goes if it continues to go up and goes past this i i can't lose more than what I would have been in losing on the put side. But what we're going to do uh, with one day to go, if we're going to let it play out and see how it see how it pings, and then we're going to roll one of these sides out. We're going to either roll the put side out or roll the call side out and let the other expire uh, worthless. Um, but you can see based on premium decay right now, uh, we are still we're winning on this uh, the position on this adjustment that we made. We're up eight. $8, a little over $8 there, up $28 on the, since we made this type of adjustment. Um, so this is it's not too bad. And, um, but the markets, you know, this Russell was up significantly and we can't say it's just because of big companies or tech companies. I mean, everything is up, these indexes, everything is up. So it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's interesting to me um, how fast we're going up and what is the particular, particular reason, all right? Is it because, um, we feel like, all right, we are going to be better off in the short term or we're going to be better off in the long term. What is the market trying to tell us here? If you guys got a take, please unmute your mic. Let me know. If not, we're going to conclude this uh, this this live pop up session. This I you know, done a lot of adjustments showing you how to do this process. Um, this is really important to be able to win. You have to know how to adjust and you have to know how to adjust effectively. Um, so you can see that I did all these adjustments a day for a credit and I'm just extending duration, allowing time to be my ally. And you'll, you'll see within the next 15 days, if we can just get a slowdown, these positions are going to do super well and we'll be able to take them off and move on. Um, but we, we need, we definitely need it to slow down to the upside. We can't, you know, you can't have another you know, four or five percent uh, days. That's just, you know, um, insane. But I do expect, based on the move, that we're going to back back to all-time highs. And if we look at this once really quickly here, if we look at the, um, if I can get this pop up. Come on, Mr. Woods. I'm, 
I'm already there. What am I doing? All right. So we you look at the you look at the ES, you can see that we're not too far from the all time high. Um, so I, maybe we're going back there. I believe that's the case. And on this NASDAQ, you know, that's that could be the case as well. Um, so that's at three. That's at 1240. Uh, 12465 12465 and the position that we have on here is below that you can see uh, or you know you can see that we're at the 12370 so this might have to be adjusted again so that's why we were aggressive on the put side to this point um, betting that um, if we had to if we had to adjust the put side we will but at this point we we trying to protect the upside at this point